here. This is the Jerusalem for June 15th. Our passage for today is in the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 4, We're reading verses 6 through 18. For I am already being poured out like a drink offering, and the time has come for my departure. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. Do your best to come to me quickly. For Demas, because he loved this world, has deserted me and has gone to Thessalonica. Crescent has gone to Galatia and Titus to Dalmatia. Only Luke is with me. Get Mark and bring him with you because he is helpful to me in my ministry. I sent Tychicus to Ephesus. When you come, bring the cloak that I left with Carpus at Troas. I read too far. <laughs> just read. No, verse 18, that's right. I'm sorry. I got confused. I was just on the wrong page. Sorry, guys. I started at verse 12. Reading in verse 18. I sent Tychicus to Ephesus. When you come, bring the cloak that I left with Carpus at Troas and my scrolls, especially the parchments. Alexander, the metal worker, did me a great deal of harm. The Lord will repay him for what he has done. You too should be on your guard against him because he strongly opposed our message. At my first defense, no one came to my support, but everyone deserted me. May it not be held against them. But the Lord stood at my side and gave me strength, so that through me the message might be fully proclaimed, and all the Gentiles might hear it. And I was delivered from the lion's mouth. The Lord will rescue me from every evil attack, and will bring me safely to his heavenly kingdom, to him be glory forever and ever. Amen. The title for today's devotional is Courage in the Lonely Hour. Today's passage is about a painful time in Paul's life. He sat in a prison cell knowing that death was coming. After devoting his last years to teaching others and sharing Christ, he now was alone during his trial and imprisonment. Loneliness must have felt overwhelming, but he met the suffering with courage. What gave him the strength to endure? For the apostle, Christ's presence offered comfort and motivated him to persevere. He knew God was right there with him in the current moment. And he could also look back on previous situations when the Lord had clearly intervened. Years earlier, for instance, Paul had seen a vision telling him not to fear during a storm at sea. And though the ship ran aground, all of the men survived. That's from Acts 27, 14 to 44. For those of us who know Jesus Christ as Savior, strength is readily available in his presence. Our Heavenly Father promises that he will never abandon his children, even when everyone else has walked away. If your circumstances leave you feeling lonely, call to mind times when God was evident to you and unmistakably revealed his hand in your life. 
Then read his word so the truth of his presence can comfort and encourage you. As a believer, you are truly never alone. Thank you for watching.